Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase here on the channel. And today, guys, I am in the beautiful flower forest. If you guys would like to see a, a spawn in a flower forest. If you guys are the type of people that like working with dyes in your world right off the start to dye a ton of things. If you want the seed for this world, there you go right there. But guys, we are hopping into another mod showcase in 1.12. I feel like I have to say 1.12 now because mods are in 1.13 these days. But hi, Mr. Cow. How are you doing today? Um, but yeah, we are doing another lucky block mod showcase and it is the destiny lucky block i know it has been not a minute we've been reviewing a lot of lucky blocks recently um i hope you guys are okay with that if not just let me know and i'll switch it up to a regular mod review but um i'm trying to get all these 1.12 mods out of the way so we can start working with 1.13 i'm not adding any more mods to the 1.12 file folder that i throw all my mods into to review so every mod I have there right now, I'll eventually get through reviewing, and I'll probably eventually skip some of them just to get to 1.13, because that's the current version. But I did want to go over most of the lucky blocks, of course, because I do still use them in my other series, so it's probably, you know, good that I have them. But that being said, let's get right in. So the Destiny lucky block is crafted with um, a lucky block surrounded by lapis. And I haven't showed this off in a minute, but the lucky block mod is crafted with a dropper and surrounded by golding. It's like so. Um, and I also haven't said this in a minute, but for those wondering, you do need the regular Lucky Block mod for all these other Lucky Blocks to work. These are technically add-ons, not mods, so you have to throw them in the add-ons folder. But most of you should know that by now, so I'm not going to go too much into it. But yeah, this is what the block looks like now. I'm curious if I can open it in creative mode or survival. Before I do that, though, we are going to be doing our normal test. If I get anything bad from the first block, I have to open 32 of them in survival mode. If I get anything good, I can stay in creative mode. Let's do it. Honestly, grass blocks is really helpful. So, I guess the jury's in. We're doing it in survival mode. And if you're wondering why all these trees are here, I had to break some trees to build this arena. By the way, guys, rate my little showcase arena. 1 out of 10, please, in the comments. I'm curious. But let's get right into this. And if you guys have been enjoying the mod showcase or lucky block showcase here on the channel, smash that like button. I want to see this video get to 10 likes. Let's see if we can make that happen. If you do, we might have two mod showcases next week. That being said, let's get right into it. So, far, and then we got Rotten Flesh. We got a mob stack. Oh, it has been a minute since I've seen a mob stack. This is like a modern day mob stack though. Look at it. It's got evokers, husks, all, all the works. It, it's pretty cool. Modern day mob stack. Oh, we got a, a stone sword. All right, that's cool. Um, is that another stone sword? Yeah, we did. I, I have no idea what this block entails. A, a, a vex. Okay, we got a little cute vex. We got Mr. Rainbows. All right. We got a chest with... Curse of Vanishing, that looks like a normal dungeon loot chest you can find. Pretty cool. Um, now what I am curious is the luck enchant. For those that don't know, modern day Minecraft, there's a potion called luck. I wonder if you have luck on, if that actually, like, changes the value of blocks at all. I've never, somebody that's worked with lucky blocks, um, recently, let me know, does the luck potion effect actually work on lucky blocks? I'd be curious to know, but we got some obsidian, a piece of rotten flesh. Doesn't say anything really. Um, end stone and a chorus fruit. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really liking this block so far. It seems to have all the uh, modern day drops. Because I've often said with um, the the regular lucky block, you know, the, the generic lucky block here. It is updated to newer versions, but it hasn't added new drops for the most part. Like unique drops that regard the new version. So I'm really happy this block is actually doing that, it seems. Um, throw me. Hey, mob stack. Think fast. Oh, they got hit. That's going to hurt them a lot. All right, we got a diamond pickaxe. Um, more rotten flesh. Leather. A piece of flint. Does this just have... Nope, just a piece of flint. All right, that's cool. Um, another diamond pickaxe. Lucky blocks. Okay. The creep, charged creeper that's going to burn down the forest. Um, we got a few cows. All right, that looks cool. Um, a stack of dirt. Yeah, a stack of dirt. All right. Um, another chest. What's this? Yep, another minecart chest. Cool. Another stone sword. A barrier block. All right, that's the most unique thing we've gotten so far. Emeralds. Um, we got iron horse armor and iron boots. And I should also say there are lucky, uh, weapons we can get from this i can get a a destiny lucky sword and destiny lucky potions those are options in case they don't come up during this i thought i should say that um we got tier two bob all right tier two bob um, another diamond pickaxe we've got diamond pickaxe quite a bit tome von dying really good to get um another flint that force is just burning 
Another lucky block. Um, does it say anything specific, or is it just nope generic? Okay. Um, ice, regular ice. Okay. A shulker box. That that's pretty unique. Um, it actually says Destiny lucky block question mark. No, it'd be kind of cool if it actually had like lucky blocks inside of it, since you can put blocks inside the shulker box. Um, water bucket, a wooden pickaxe. Interesting. I have Ender, I, or Ender Pro, I should say. I like how it gives you the random, um, oh, arrows incoming. Wow, no one got hit by that. That's surprising. I like how it's giving you the, uh, like, one block or one item. Lapis and a lucky block. That's kind of funny because it gives you the materials to craft the block if you wanted to. More instant and coarse fruit. Or coarse fruit bulbs, I should say. Um, another piece of rotten flesh. Some zombies. Um, we got some leather gear. We got him mushroom. I should also make sure. Okay, it does automatically set to hard mode. I was gonna say just to see if we actually get what is that? Oh, a shield. I've always been saying the lucky block has never the generic lucky block has never given a shield. You'd think it would have by this point because that's like 1.9 and that's how many versions ago at this point. But no, it's never given you a shield, which is kind of funny. The hero villager. All right, so the generic hero villager. That's nice. Oh, now the hero villagers will hero witch. Oh, we got one iron nugget. Shouts to 1.11.2. You guys remember when that was added? I do. Um, we got XP, pigs, gold. Uh, more pigs. Oh, a lot of pigs. Uh, packed ice. I'm gonna say where's the blue ice, but I forgot we're not in that version. Oh, we got a another mob stack, but this time it's the passive mobs. I think that's pretty cool. Let's open a few more, and then we'll do our final uh rating regular ice uh we got a what's this drink me negative potion effects all right xp again and finally the villager pig stack all right so it is time to show off the block finally doing the rating that vex is still alive are you kidding me but if you guys don't know how this works essentially what happens is i open five blocks now what comes out of these blocks will determine what the block is rated. This is just a personal thing for me and just something fun to end it off. Um, basically how it works is if any duplicates, nothing counts. If it's a unique drop from everything we've shown so far, then it gets a star. And if the block gets five stars, then it's rated five stars or whatever, and we just go from there. So first block, wooden shovel. We have not gotten that yet. And this is also a good way for like if the modder is watching us to know how many unique drops they have. If they should have more, take out some. Mr. Rainbow, unfortunately, we've already gotten that. Tier 4, Bob, have not gotten yet. A Iron Pickaxe, I do not believe we have grabbed that yet. And finally, are these Spectral Arrows. So we have not gotten that. So 4 out of 5 drops were unique. Therefore, this block is going to be rated a 4-star rated block. So most of the blocks I review do show up as a 3 or 4-star rating. It's rare that they're 5 stars and it's rare they're anything less. Um, if they're anything less than three stars, normally it's recommended they add the modder adds more drops into it. That's just my take on it. If it's five stars, that means they've got enough unique drops, that they're good. But I hope this block was um, fun for you guys as much as it was for me. Um, the downforce mod will be linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself and use it. This will be definitely being added into both my uh, New World series and my Lucky Block Survival series, so definitely check it out there if you want to see more of it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Goodbye.